Welcome back to another episode of Modular Wild. This time we're going to be doing a demonstration of the Eviton Technologies Clocks module right here. We sort of went over the functions and features of this module in the profile video last time, so hopefully you saw that. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail in it. I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into a demonstration. Now, if you refer to the manual, there's a couple of different examples they give where you can use the clocks module, uh, which is outputting two clocks at A and B uh, to drive a sample and hold. You can use it to drive envelopes and so forth. Uh, I'm going to be using it with the sequencer right here. Uh, we're going to be using the A output and uh, just kind of getting it to drive it. So let's set that up first. And this is a pretty simple little patch. Have the uh, sequencer CV out from here, going to a quantizer, quantized output right there, is then going over to the Z3000 right here. Z3000 saw output is going into a VCA. Uh, the trigger out of the sequencer is going over to the Pittsburgh ADSR over here. And then the output of the ADSR is going into our VCA to change the amplitude. From there, it's going out to a mixer, which you can actually hear there. So that's our little synth patch. And so before we get anything too complex going, let's just listen to the AND output uh, triggering a simple kick drum. So if you follow me over to the kick drum module, so that's the sound right there. Now if I wanted to vary that pattern, I could do it a couple of ways. I could either slower speed up the A clock, which then in turn is affecting the way A and B are combining. Therefore, where the AND output will output a trigger. So you can just kind of adjust it until you get something that you like sonically. So I kind of like that right there. But let's just try the XOR, which as we said in the profile video is actually an XNOR output, just to hear what that pattern sounds like. So not bad. I kind of prefer it with the kick though, so let's stick with the kick. Now let's take the snare drum and trigger it with the XOR. So patching out from there. Over to the snare drum. So now I can actually vary my sequence by slowing it down here. And you can hear it's kind of in time with it. It's a nice little fun rhythmic pattern and synth line. Now if I wanted to go one step further, as you can see over here in my drum case, uh, I actually have a trigger ride over here that is outputting a series of triggers from the various outputs here that I can use to then trigger other drum modules. And right now it's just waiting for another uh, a clock input. So let's take the clock B right there. go over to the clock input of the Trigger Riot. And now let me get those sounds patched up for you.
So now if I wanted to speed up B, I could. Or if I wanted to slow down A, if I could. So just a nice, fun little sequence. If I wanted to switch it all up, I could take the A and then switch out the A and B clocks. Switch my pattern out. So in this case, we're using it to trigger a sequencer, as you can see here and getting it to sort of control the speed or rate of the notes that are being output from here, thereby our synth batch. And then the other clock is controlling some of our percussion sounds, while we have the AND and the XOR, which is actually, again, an XNOR output that's triggering our snare. Now, if I wanted to switch that pattern up, I could always do that too. The idea here is that they're all sort of still in time, and you get kind of rhythmically interesting patches. I can change up the speed again until I find something I like. So I just know that I'm going to have tons and tons of fun with this because there's so many possibilities of applying this in different types of patches. Um, I could be running, you know, two simultaneous sample and holds with this, and then maybe use these to trigger the percussion, or I could use this to trigger the trigger riot, or other external sequencer, or other drum sequencer, anything like that. So um, that's going to do it for the first demonstration. Stay tuned for the next episode of Modular Wild with the Eventon Technologies Clocks module, and we're going to do a little bit of audio demonstration of the audio capabilities of the clocks. So stay tuned for that.